Uh, now, what song were people feeling the most on uh, World Beat Mill? I gotta say, it's between Neverland and Better Note, but I feel like it's Better Note. Everybody mess with Better Note the most. Okay. So, when it comes to that track, do you think you're gonna make more songs that sound like that or that are in the same vibe like that just to get, you know, I don't, I'm just saying, because, you know, I know usually. With, with labels and stuff like that, if you are with them, when they when they see that one single that does good because everybody like it, they want to make certain like the same type of single. So how are you gonna go about your next project? My next project is probably gonna be about my feelings about like my past relationships. To be honest, like, and that's the song. You feel me? Like I I had talked about this one female I was feeling about her, and I just wrote a song about her. And then like at first it was just like you know just thoughts in my head. I didn't really think I was going to write it down and make it to a song. Like, and it, when I was saying it, I was just like, it probably don't really sound right. But it seemed like the songs that I don't think that's going to sound right and the song that I think that's not going to really, like, buzz, be the songs that buzz. Like, so I feel like I'm going to make more songs that's, like, the same vibe but not the same flow. Like, you feel me? It's just going to be all, it's going to be different but it's going to be the same subject because it seemed like when I rap about, like, you feel me, songs for the shots, I'm, I'm real good at it. Like, they, they fuck with it. So. Now you mentioned that you got friends that are in the that are in the music game too. Now is that S O E? Like who are your friends that's in the music game? Um, I fuck with the the L M I L. I mean L I M L. You feel me? I fuck with Bravo. Fuck with uh, Keith, Will, Autumn. I fuck with J B. For me, we did a song together. Me and Bravo did a song together. I fuck with Y L. We did a song together. Um, it's a lot of artists out there that's talented, but I just never got a chance to run into their music yet. You know. So many people that I really be banging with. So J, so is J Bizzle, is he one of the people that give you feedback on certain things? Yeah, and to be honest, if I had to send it to anybody, I would send it to J because he always like tell me the truth, like, and he don't even like, and he don't even know somebody, so like, you don't want to hurt their feelings or whatever. You feel me? But like, I always send it to him because he always keep it a rack. Like, he'll always tell me if he don't like it, and he'll always tell me if it's fire. So that's why I always send him my songs. Okay. Most of them. Yeah, yes, yeah, and it's it's good to have that feedback because I told people it's better to have. Somebody like that set up a yes man. Mm -hmm. Cause like a yes man can hurt you. Like if you if they just saying, oh yeah, this hot, yeah, this hot, yeah, this yeah, hot. Yeah, that's what I'm it. saying. Like that's why I don't send it to. Them. Like that's why people gotta understand. Like you can't always send your songs to your bros. Like cause they not gonna always keep it a rock with you. Cause they your bro, they don't wanna hurt you. You feel me? So that's why I always send it to people that's gonna keep it a rock. Cause that's the only way you are gonna get better. Yeah, for real. That's how, that's, how you, that's how you come up. Or you gonna have a, uh, or you gonna, or you gonna be sounding crazy. But that's what I'm saying. Um, with with you with you uh being in this like music game now now, have you seen uh, uh influx or increase of uh you know women coming at you? Because like, <laughs> I, I see I see that with the youngest like I know like my boy when I be on my boy B Miles live stream it be mad girls like saying stuff like like you know just saying stuff to him. Right. It's like because especially because I because of what he's accomplishing now when it comes to view, viewership and all. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like, yeah, I had a, uh, ever since I, I can't lie, ever since I started rapping, as far as females, they've been coming. Like, when the females see, a, like, a nigga, uh, you feel me, coming up and all that, they always flock. Like, they always flock to who's hot. That's all that is. Like, it's just, that's just how it's going to go. Like, yeah, yeah. They always flock to who's hot. So, like, that don't bother me. You feel me? I don't take them serious. I just, you feel me? If they fuck with me, I fuck with them as far as, like, they showing me, they showing me love and all that. So, you feel me? That's all it is. I just, you feel me? Now, do you play football or basketball? I be playing. I play ball. Oh, okay, you play both. So, so you you playing football for how right now? No, I just play oh. basketball. Just okay, basketball. But I'm, okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you play basketball and uh, this is what your senior year? Yeah, my senior year. Okay, man. How you think y'all gonna look, man? I think we gonna be alright for real. We got good. We got an all around team for real. We got shooters. Mm -hmm. People can dribble. We got big men. We gonna be alright. I like us going to the box for real. What, what's the like the most challenging team you faced throughout your high school career? Probably Sally's. Sally's. Oh, they got that. They had when I played. They had that uh, big guy to reach. So he was always blocking niggas' shots and shit. <laughs> that shit blew me. Damn. Cause like okay, so their defense is it's always on point when y'all play them. So always. it's kind of hard to. So yeah, and they so organized. Like they their chemistry is just so like for me tight. So it's just like it's hard to beat them sometimes. But I like us this year though. Okay. Okay. When it comes when it comes to the final four at the Bob, you know who do you predict is going to be? Obviously y'all, but what other three teams can you see? Um, I think me, mm -hmm. us, uh, probably say Thomas Moore, um, Mount maybe, mm -hmm. and I don't 
don't know. Uh, I don't really know for real. I yeah. just, you feel me? I'm only worried about us. I don't yeah. really care about what they, what other teams doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, do you plan on taking this? Obviously, you're gonna keep rapping, but like, do you plan on balling in college too? I don't even know yet. I'm still like, I don't even know. Like right now in my life, I just, you feel me? Right now, I just taking rapping serious right now. Mm -hmm. Like balling, you feel me? I, I ain't gonna lie. When I was young, I used to have a, you feel me? I got it tattered on me. Like I, yeah, it was my inspiration, you know, like balling. Everybody in my family did it, so it was, you feel me? But it's not for everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. But I still do it. I still love it. But I don't know if I'm gonna take it far or not. I'm still like debating on that. Yeah. And you said that you like kind of like you know. Uh, uh, kind of look like look up to Uzi a little bit. So, did you did you watch his come up or did you, did you watch his grind? Because I know like a lot of uh, people when they when they uh, follow certain artists, they look at their documentaries or something like that, like Wiz Khalifa or anybody, you know, what I'm saying to see how they came up. Did you did you pay attention? To, did you pay attention to how he came up? Nah, I looked at a couple of interviews, but I ain't really I ain't pay attention to his come up. You mm -hmm. feel me? I just I don't. I, my friend, my uh, man, Mar Love had turned me on like. A years back to his like Love Is Rage tape and I just at first I wasn't really feeling it but I listened to it a few more times I was just like hey, I like that the vibe you feel me you feel me so I listened to Uzi a lot for real okay well, the reason I brought that up was because like I know um, a lot of artists I, a lot of artists I talk to they'll say like sometimes even though they're in music they kind of still don't know how to get to that next level right. so they see the people that came before them and see like what what happened here like how did you Go from SoundCloud. How did you go from Springwilla to, you know, iTunes? Now, how did you go to iTunes to being signed? Like, you know, they just mm -hmm. they figure out the steps. And um, when it, do you think, do you think that's important? And do you think like you ever like you know? Yeah, I always. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. I always like you feel me. Look at those type of steps. I like people will be on iTunes and stuff like that. I always you feel me. Try to figure out how to get on iTunes and all that. Cause you feel me. The more the more, like I just you just keep going up. Really, just the only way is up. You feel me? It's right now, SoundCloud, the Spinrilla, to my mixtapes, the iTunes, Sony way is up. All right, man. I want to thank you for coming on, and uh, I definitely like would like to have you back on again when your uh, next project come about or your next single, next video, whatever it is. Run me email too. Actually, man. That's what we're gonna be called. Run me email too. All right. All right, man. Thank you.